Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here on this Sunday, I believe it is, Sunday, September the 8th, 2024. Let's see. Yes, Sunday the 8th, 2024. And the place to be. I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am, I am. I'm getting ready to step out in a minute or so, but I just want to come through and see if I can share some things with you about how to, you know, bring some some uh, lasting results into your life. You know, a lot of people are talking about peace. You know, a lot of people talk about love and freedom and all these all these values about life that that they seek and that they want, and they just want to be happy. You know, just want to be happy. And there's so many things that are that are against us and those you know and we all know that we're in a political season everybody's going back and forth with each other everyone's uh projecting on you and you know and i, and I uh, understand that there's a lot of content out there lots almost trillions of bits of content out there maybe more and i know a lot of people think there's too much content out there and and to be honest with you when you start uh, evolving your consciousness, you'll know how to filter things out. You know, you'll know how to disregard things, ignore things, and move forward to where it really doesn't affect you at all. And that's where you want to be. You don't want to be in a position to to believe, because it is a belief that, um, you know, if certain things were, you know, in other words, if we can control others, Blah, 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 blah. The, the main thing you want to control is yourself and get yourself to a point to where you are not necessarily affected by what's going on in the world because it's going to get worse. And the whole idea is to make you, to, to you know, to, to, to affect you. And it, and it affects, it affects all of us. It affects me. If it, you know, I get just as much, uh, um, you know, you know, I, I feel the impact. I feel the, I feel the pressure. I feel the negative. I feel the positive. I feel all of that. And so, what I've had to do is learn how to, um, you know, ba basically take a hold of myself. You know, and make myself, in my innermost being, that you know, the head of everything. Not my ego. Not my labels. Not my beliefs and blah blah blah. I let my 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 innermost being kind of kind of set the stage as to what I want in my life. If I say I want peace, there are things that you know there will be experiences where I can experience peace. There will be you know life experiences. So let me give you some tips if you if you like um, about how to to really. Um, uh, experience joy and, and, and happiness and all those things that we all seek. And the first thing is to realize that it all comes from you. Whatever you want, it comes from you. You know, so you have to, if you choose to, remember, we're the only creatures and that have free will. So that means you either do it or you don't. It all depends on what you want and what you need. So... Remember, everything comes from you. It starts with your thoughts, and your thoughts cultivate your life experiences. It has nothing to do with whoever comes, whoever shows up. They show up because you may have cultivated that to happen. Number two, just be kind and gentle with yourself. I I, I keep saying that because I, I I feel I feel some intense intense um uh I I, I can't even put words to it. There's a lot of intensity with people to, um, you know, to, to, I don't know, I, it's, 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 like I said, it's hard to put it in words, but you just really need to be kind and gentle with yourself and realize you've never experienced some of these things before. So how did, why are you being so hard on yourself? Uh, believing that you know what to do all the time. Sometimes you don't know. You just have to keep it moving. Number three, um, you know, stay grounded, you know, participate in some form of meditation and do not make a big deal out of it. It is a, it is a, it is a simple thing 
with meditation and it starts with breathing. Recognize that you're breathing. Okay, number four, you know, walk the talk. Okay, if you say you want to do something or you say you want something, walk the talk. Get it done. Get it moving. Move forward. There's nothing easy about anything. And if you don't just take the first steps and, and move on, then um, and other things are, you know, we are aligned and we do have paths. But that doesn't mean that there is some paths that are disconnected, um, dissolved, okay, severed, meaning some things just, you know, we all get alignments and it, 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 it's all based on the realities of our situations. You know, like some people know right away, and it, it is, it's like a spark. Some people know right away that they are attracted to someone. Some people know right away what type of job or what kind of career they want to go into. Some, you know, some people just have that, that knowing. It's a knowing. And you need to trust that and accept that. And be kind and gentle with yourself when you make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes too. You're going to run into roadblocks. You're going to have detours. You're going to stumble. You're going to fall. Get up and move forward. Also, um, realize that once you start clearing up stuff out of your life and getting yourself out of a spin, autopilot, you will be given other life experiences that can help you develop, help you evolve, help you elevate and bring more joy and satisfaction into your life. And also create your own customs. Do you need to celebrate this particular type of holiday? Do you need to celebrate that particular holiday? Be very mindful about how you are celebrating yourself. Are you doing that for attention or you are genuinely celebrating yourself? Ask those questions. Also, realize that no matter what's going on in the world, someone is usually looking out for your best interests. They may not be, you may not know that they're doing that for you, but there is always someone in the background that's looking out for everyone, looking out for you, looking out for the uh, protection of humanity, the, the protection of this planet. So just always remember that you are literally not alone. Okay, I mean, that's that's impossible to believe that. But you, if you're feeling alone, that's chances are there's something you need to work on inside so that you understand, okay, what that means to you and how you can resolve it. And once again, the most important thing to do is to heal. Is to heal. And if you do not heal, all you're doing is ruminating and spinning and staying in the same realities of your life. And you do not offer in fresh ideas, fresh opportunities, because you're just staying stuck. And you're just spinning and spinning and spinning. So I hope that can get some of you going and staying on track with your life, staying in alignment with your life. Even though things may not look bright or it looks like there may be trouble, I'm going to keep going on my alignment and, and let things fall where they may. They will you know being stagnant and being doubtful and being fearful and all that all that does is hurt me okay and I have no reason to be feeling doubtful about anything especially after the results I've received in my life and just be realistic too as well about about your life about how you age about what you're eating about how you're exercising just be realistic make sure you monitor yourself properly and do not get yourself caught up in fantasy and delusion and, you know, and not being able to be, be realistic about your situation. So I hope those things help you to get you going on this Sunday. There's more to come. There's more things happening right before our eyes. But just stay gentle and kind with yourself. In most cases, if you just calm yourself down, relax yourself, find some joy in your life. You will cultivate it more so into your life and you'll be able to spread it to others. Sending peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. At the end of the day, it's about universal love. Spread it. And trust me, I'll be back.